In your results page, you can start to analyze the products in your search results. The results window gives you the images of the product on both the retailer page and the Amazon page for quick comparison. Here it gives you the product's detail from the retailer page, including the retailer's name, the product price and description. Here you'll find comparable information on the Amazon listing with product price and description. Now both information boxes are also hyperlinks to the retailer's product page and to Amazon's product page. Finally, the text at the bottom of both boxes indicate how long ago that both sites showed this information as correct, uh, that is the time of scanning by Source Mogul. This is the recent history graph and it includes vital information for analyzing potential opportunities including the sales rank history depicted by the green line, the Amazon price history which is shown by the blue line and the retailer's product selling history depicted by the purple line which indicates the price history of the product on the retailer's site. Here you'll find further breakdown of the key data necessary for analyzing a product including the expected profit after Amazon's fees have been deducted the average number of times that the product has sold on Amazon per month and the Amazon category that the product belongs in. You can also see the ROI or return on investment percentage. The sales rank depicted as both a percentage and a number, the three month average sales rank, the product's ASIN and the number of sellers that are currently selling this product on Amazon. And here you can just simply click to add the product to your wish list. Now clicking the red arrow at the right hand side of the panel will just take you onto the next page of data for the product. Here you'll find a further breakdown of the competition by showing the top sellers of the product on Amazon with information on the number of their Amazon seller reviews and how many of these were positive, the price the seller has listed the product for and the channel of fulfillment that they use whether FBA or FBM. This is where you'll find information on the product listing by showing if the product is sold by FBM only, if the FBA fees listed by Source Mogul are an estimate due to a lack of product information from Amazon, and if the product listing has a buy box. A tick to the right of each point will indicate a yes answer and a cross shows a no. And here you'll find the information that Amazon holds on the product's dimensions and weight. Here you'll find a breakdown of the costs involved including the Amazon fees associated with the product and how Source Mogul has calculated the potential profit to be made. And again, here, you just simply click to add the product to your wish list.